Hi guys, I'm Yuno and uh, these are my MIDI coders. This is based on the original principle of JK Decidia, which was the original uh, designer of these tools. Now I had fabricated this with the use of the Medico extended double profile cylinder. Uh, this is a Medico uh, one centimeter uh, extended double profile cylinder, which uh, is uh, uh, very suitable to make for a MIDI coder, and it's quite easy for me to fabricate it with the material which is available for me. And uh, the ordinary standard uh, MIDI double profile is uh, a bit shorter, and it's not uh, recommended. So, what I use is. Uh, the one uh, centimeter at least extension or the uh, longer one which is uh, a four centimeter extension so these two midi coders i made is uh, i have to try and uh, explain to you how did i do it to fabricate a uh, midi coder first i had drilled this six hole through and through on the double profile cylinder this is up to six holes. After I drill uh, the mole, then I try to cut it from this bottom here and clean it up. And in the center, I make up each a line mark for each of the pins, centered pins within this medical double profile cylinder. So, I had uh, cut it uh, two centimeter uh, long from the tip and one centimeter wide for the mouth opening. Uh, this design is just optional, whatever uh, you wish to do about that, that is not important. Now, when I had finished this design for uh, my uh, housing so then it's time for me to make the probe and the wire uh, the wire probe and uh, uh, the plug uh, with the calibration on it so what I did to make it uh, to calibrate it is uh, first I had fabricated this and uh, or uh, this is just an ordinary solid uh, plug uh, follower which is made of aluminum and uh, I make a hole one millimeter from this uh, point here up to at least maybe uh, three centimeter deep and after that in order to lock the probe so I make another two holes here hand tap it and put a screw on it to hold the probe and after I finish that then it's time to calibrate for the distance of, of the probe which correspond to the uh, core for a six pin uh, cylinder or uh, core or for medical now what I did is insert it Uh, from the housing and then I I make uh, I cut out one of the damaged uh, uh, core here and put it on the uh, tip of this uh, housing uh, and then let the probe run through the end of the last pins groove which is a uh, this is uh, uh, where the fence of the uh, sidebar is uh, located, is protruding and lock the, the pins itself. So after I determine uh, which is the side last uh, sidebar uh, fences, then I'll try to mark that on my last.
on my last uh, a mark here and after I had make a mark so it's time for me to try and uh, run this uh, plug uh, by a uh, electric drill and uh, slowly uh, let it run with a hacksaw blade here to make its mark so that is with a guide of course when you're running it you should make it a guide so that it will be level to run like this okay after you make the mark so that is finished and so you have the midi coder right. now in uh, picking midi co as I as I observe in my way I need a third hand to pick a midi co actually I'm not as good as a uh, uh, Jiki the seizure and figure medical so it was my first time when I picked that uh, medical with this uh, uh, medicoder uh, based on this principle so I had designed this uh, these tools of mine the, I call this uh, a lock picking aid and uh, this kind of lock picking aid is that it helps me to make my two hands free while this uh, tension drain is being tensioned by the spring and, and once I had uh, uh, pine out the groove and uh, let it be engaged with the sidebar then that's the time for me to pick it so uh, with this uh, lock picking aid of mine I was able to pick a uh, medical interchangeable core and uh, uh, I think it's uh, more than uh, more than an hour my first time so I was able to pick a medical and uh, I thanks uh, Mr. Uh, JK the seizure for such uh, tools which he introduced without that uh, medical that I can never I think pick a medical uh, core so uh, one more thing for this uh, uh, advantage for this me um, medicoder by using a double profile cylinder is that I can when I don't uh, I'm not using it I can lock it by putting the two top pins on it and locking it so that uh, the probe will be protected from being bent accidentally so you see so it's locked from there so that's how I made my medicoder thank you folks thank you for watching and I hope you had uh, uh, get some information in making your own good day